Hi everyone, this is Mike Leiden here uh, from the uh, International Academy of Consciousness New York office. I'm a teacher and volunteer and I'm here today to interview Ms. Nancy Trevelato regarding her uh, upcoming lecture at the uh, International Congress of Conscientiology, the first International Congress of Conscientiology, which will be held in Portugal at the IAC Research Campus from um, May 22nd to 24th of this year, so it's coming up soon. So, thank you for meeting with me. Thank you very much, Mike. Um, Ms. Trivolato is the former scientific director of the International Academy of Consciousness, and currently she's a senior researcher and volunteer. Her formal training is in ling linguistics, and she holds a master's in psychological research. Um, your presentation is um, Vibrational State, uh, a Quantitative and Qualitative Analysis. And uh, I want to congratulate you on just finishing the, the, first, the first draft uh, okay, the first draft of your upcoming book, um, Vibrational State Research Techniques and Applications. Fortunately, it's not a draft. It's really finished. Now. It's really finished. <laughs> so I'm okay. glad about okay. it. Okay, yes. okay. All right. So it must be a time to celebrate. Oh, definitely. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so um, so I guess my, my first question is, um, what question do you hope that your presentation at the Congress is going to answer? So if, if everybody walked away from your lecture, you know, without spoiling it too much, yes, what would you want them to come away with? Well, first of all, being able to identify exactly what the vibrational state is. Mm -hmm. Maybe for those who are listening to us and are not so familiar with this expression, although vibrational state is quite known phenomenon, but what happens is that mostly people who have astral projections or out of body experience, Sometimes, in some of these events, um, they have a sort of a sensation in their bodies that is a strong vibration. That's why we call it vibrational state. But the sensation of a strong vibration is some process that happens in the energetic body that so far has not been properly studied. Many people discuss about it. Some people, they have it like when they are very deeply relaxed. Some more rare cases, but in some specific sessions of some meditation, people may feel it. Mm. But the thing is, what characterizes the vibration states and the importance of it is not only the fact that it's a vibration, because there are many different sensations we can feel in our energies that they are felt as a vibration. Yeah. What is important is the type of vibration and the type of result that vibration generates. Those of us who have had um, out-of-body experiences and had the vibrational state, say at the moment of about to leave the body. Some people, they have the vibrational state and never leave the body because that surprises them and they stop there. But those of us who had the vibrational state in this condition, we know it's not just any vibration. It's super strong, super clear, as if we could feel in each cell of the body, as if we could perceive such detail uh, not only of the physical body, of the energetic body, sometimes even of the astral body we call psychosoma. So that level of clarity and the results we gain from that later in terms of feeling more stable, in feeling maybe calmer, feeling more in control in a good way, um, feeling more sensitive to energies, more parapsychic in some way, that is what gives the specific characteristic of the vibration state. No. This is a known phenomenon, not very much studied. What happened is that about 14, 15 years ago, um, Wagner, Allegretti and I, we worked together in this um, research and we started doing some um, one-on-one sessions to help people be able to control their energy and produce the vibration state. In those sessions, we started learning the mistakes people do in terms of the sensations and when they do the technique to produce the vibration state. Also, we learned that most people don't know what the vibrational state is because those of us who have had the vibrational state spontaneously in such a condition, and then you read a book explaining that, oh, you have no doubt, that's the vibrational state. Yes, yes. But those who never had it and they just work with energy because they want to produce this positive condition that definitely can be produced at will, but then they make an effort and they get any sensation, they may confuse that with the vibrational state. And so far, what we had in our study in many different areas, but I think the area that paid most attention to the vibrational state is conscientiology, which is the area we are trying to develop. By the way, conscientiology is just consciousness science, so we are aiming to study consciousness, so the name conscientiology comes from the root consciousness plus ology, and then what happens? Because we are the ones studying that the most, we just produce techniques to have the vibrational state, but so far what we had 
somebody is. You had a vibrational state or you had nothing. And that's not true, because there are many different levels that can happen in between until it leads you to the vibrational state. When you do not have words and explanations to characterize each level, then it confuses, because there is no way for me to communicate with you in terms of sensation or anything else. So I took together these 14 years of data and research, plus my personal experience, plus many interviews I did, plus a survey, I did a public survey online, many people replied, almost 700 people, and I started studying all of those details to be able to put together a sort of a scale of a progress in this activation of the energetic body that leads to the vibrational state. So now, finally, we have names for each of these steps and what they mean and what sort of sensation we would feel in each of these steps. Mm -hmm. Most people, like for you who also studies these and practice techniques, most people they would think they are the vibrational state when they are 20-30% of it. I see, I but see. But finally now we, we can pinpoint that. Okay, so, so if I understand, your research is really about uh, creating a scale of qualitative development of the vibrational state. Yes, okay. but it's not only qualitative. It's okay. qualitative from the point of view, let's say, of the individual who are trying to analyze the effects they have and uh, the reactions even later on. But I would like to think or to try to devise at least the basis of some qualitative analysis too. Because if all of us, we become with a good knowledge about all of those effects, and we no longer are um, so subjective in all oh, this vibration for me is strong, but for you is not strong. No, we have to see the results of it. Okay. If the result is such, it was of that strength. So maybe then we are able to have a little of more quantitative number there, because otherwise it's very difficult to go deeper in this study. So, okay, so let, let me see if I understand that. So would, it, would that be like, let's say someone only feels vibrations on the surface of their skin. Yes. Let's say, and when they develop a little bit more, then they start to feel it in some, and they start to feel it maybe in their um, umbilical chakra, which maybe they didn't before. And then after that, they might start to feel it, you know, at the, at the, the, the core of the body, you know, what uh, people in the East have called Kundalini when that happens. Yes. There's like mm -hmm. a... Uh, you know, a very strong energy current running through the center of the body. So it would be a scale that's, I, I mean, I don't know because I don't know of your course. scale, but, <laughs> but I'm just giving an example. But then yeah. you are, it, it's more or less on these lines. Okay, yes. okay. So okay. based mm -hmm. not only on what is felt, because sensations can be def very different from you and me. Yes. Same thing we can feel in different ways, so it's also based on the results. So what happens then? At the end of this scale, when we finally reach a point that we can call it vibrational state because it's strong enough, then, and that was probably the hardest part of my work and took a lot of uh, analysis and thinking and going back. But what I did is that I took this part here and I also made an analysis of this alone. So no longer levels of vibrations that are no vibrational state. Only analyzing real vibrational state, there are many different types. We cannot say every vibrational state is identical. I have had real true vibrational states that lasted five seconds and others that last, what, ten minutes? And they are completely different, not only the duration, sometimes in how much you can control, the modulation of the vibrations or frequencies per se, also the type of effect they leave you with after the phenomena, how long that effect lasts, the unblocking effect in your energies, how deep is that? So then we have another scale that again it's very much you know a study of the quality of the phenomena, but I try to divide that in different intensities, so giving numbers to that. So we know we have a vibrational state level one or level three. But then we communicate, you know, Mike, I had that experience because I had a vibrational state, intensity three, which allows me to perceive something that in another case, so having the real word, the real knowledge, and the correct explanation behind it, at least based on what we know so far, but there was a lot of study and research done to get to this point, I think that is going to help all of us 
not only to understand what happens to us in terms of energies, but also to be able to produce this very positive phenomenon at will. Okay, all right. Well, that sounds really interesting. I mean, to, to me, what this means, like my next question was gonna be the significance of this. And so uh, I'll just put it like this. Would you say that developing the vibrational state in the way that you're, you've organized this research is a way to help someone um, manifest with their full vitality, if it's related to that. Does it make sense? So it's, it's almost like if you can do a, like a full vibrational state in the way that you're kind of quantifying it, that's almost how you know that you're fully alive. Oh, would, you, would you go that far? I would. Okay, I would. okay, okay. I would, maybe phrasing in a different way. Okay. Because the truth is, we feel as strong yeah. and as motivated internally and happy, I'm going to use this word, I don't sure. like very much this word because it means okay. different things for different people, sure. but you feel that inside as much as you are healthy, not only in terms of your emotions, but in terms of your energies, because the two things are super interconnected. Yes. If you can make your energies stronger, better, receiving less influences, um, suffering less from maybe old energies that we hold inside of us, if we can cleanse all of those influences, we are going to feel more alive, happier, stronger, more confident, and from that point on, the results are there. So it's not going to make a miracle, but it gives us a big hand. And even the technique to produce the vibrational state that we call VILU, a voluntary energetic longitudinal oscillation. oscillation. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm using so much the word in Portuguese yeah, because yeah. I'm writing the book in Portuguese that I forgot. So, but even the VILU per se, the, the technique, then it already gives us a lot of these results, even when we do not reach the vibration state. So I think it's worthwhile pursuing it. But most importantly, I think it's remarkable to correct the mistakes that so far we have been seeing, simply because people don't have the experience. I see. I hope to help bring in that point in which we can have terminology to discuss more about these and to go further with the research. Okay. Wonderful. Well, listen, thank you for taking the time thank to meet with so me today. Much. And uh, if you want more information, come to the Congress. Hope Check out the links below. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.